Hi, everyone. Okay, so today is Wednesday, July 31st, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got from the Amazon Returns liquidation store bin store. Um, so I did go yesterday on Dollar Day, and um, I went to actually both stores. So let me go ahead and show you what I got from store number one. So they didn't have as much good stuff this uh, week as opposed to, I guess you could say last week. So this is what I found. Um, I always try to pick up anything that I see that is written in Japanese because I will tell you most of the time it's going to be something good. And so I, you know, this had no English on it, but I was still curious. So I picked it up and when I opened it, turns out these are a, pa um, a pair of like something like 40 or $50 stainless steel kitchen shears. It's by a company called um, Tonma. And these are freaking heavy as hell. Um, I think it said that they're micro serrated, but I don't see that on here. At least I can't. Yeah, I couldn't really see it. But I mean, these are like freaking heavy duty. And it'll be really good for like, you know, when you're cutting up like green onions or, you know, you can even chop celery. I mean, cut celery with it. Shoot, you could even cut pizza slices or like, you know, meat, chicken, whatever. These are going to come in really handy. So I was pretty excited to find that. Um, and yeah, we're definitely going to use it in the um, kitchen. I've got like... I mean, I don't need to use it for like crafts or anything like that because I've got plenty of scissors and I primarily like to use my um, Tim Holtz, um, what do you call this? The Tim Holtz scissors right here, like these and the small one because this one is definitely uh, micro serrated. So, and this will like cut through anything. You know how like when you buy like a, buy something and it's always like in wrapped up or packaged in that plastic stuff that is almost impossible to like cut through and then open up those scissors are like the best to use that will just cut through it so easily so the next thing i found was this and i knew it was a taylor swift item because this is from the obviously from the red album but these are a pack of stickers so um i'm gonna give these to my nieces because there's like several of each. So we've got, I guess, from, you know, the red, how many there? So there's three of each. There's Reputation. I don't know what album that's from. <laughs> and I don't know what album that's from either. And then you've got that one. Let's see. Yeah, because I had to make, I, had, I, I opened it just to be sure that there weren't going to be any similar, you know, like it wasn't a whole pack of the same, the same ones. So it looks like we have six, seven, eight. So we have eight different styles here. Um, and they can go ahead and apply for features on there and then stick it on whatever they could. I don't know if they're waterproof. I mean, they should, could, they could stick it on like a water bottle or something. So yeah, I thought that was really kind of cool. You know, I don't know how much they're going for on Amazon. And if, it, if anybody is like interested in any of these items, I'll post the links below on Amazon. Um, if you want to purchase them, obviously you wouldn't be able to get them for a dollar like I did, but um, at least, you know, you'll know where you, you can pick it up. So did get that. Um, I guess the whole Taylor Swift um, overflow is kind of coming towards an end because I don't see as much of it nowadays um, as I did before. So I found another iron flask. Um, what do you call this? Uh, the handle. I know what this is opened. Come on. I think somebody had opened it from the bottom. Um, I always want to keep these as a backup because, you know, the paracords will eventually come apart just from wear and tear. So it's always good to have backups of this. Um, and it's just basically this. It's just like that other one that I had found last week. That's like the rainbow multicolor one. This one's just all in black. But I do find that the ones that are made specifically for iron flask work better. 
um, because they they're just sized very specifically for them. So um, yeah, I don't ever use this. Um, it's just really just the cord. It just makes it easier to you know to hold the bottle because um, the one that I primarily use is a 64 ounce, and I do have a 40 ounce that I bring with me to um, the gym. So uh, yeah, and I've, I've got actually another bottle that I have not been using, but it's not a wide mouth like the ones that I, I usually use, but I have it just as a kind of like a backup just in case. So I, I didn't purchase much from store number one. I think I only got like four things. Yeah, I did. Okay. So then I found this and um, I had several, several packs of these, but I only needed one. There's like 24 clips. So like they're carabiners, but they're a little bit different. I like these better than like the regular carabiners because you can use them on both sides. So it's just... I'm pretty sure you've seen these before. Um, so you just, you can clip it here and then clip there, right? So they come in different sizes. Obviously you can see here, let me take this out and this out. So I have like a large, a medium and a small. So, and I'll give some to my dad because I know he likes using these too. And I like using them for travel because then you can clip, you know, to your bag and or I can clip it to like the luggage or something like especially my water bottle when I bring that because then otherwise I'm having to handhold it and it's it's just annoying um because it's kind of big and it won't fit exactly into my um into my bag that I carry my hand carry so I did find this um corner punch and um I saw this before actually not last week, but the week before when I went on a Friday and I was hoping that it would still be there because I was certainly not going to pay eight bucks for it, but, um, I didn't see it on dollar day. And then I was surprised to see this. So I was really happy that they actually had it. So, you know, um, it's in millimeters, but that's okay. Let's see. So that one is this one right here. Uh, let's look at the four millimeter. It's this one right here and that side. Ah, it's pretty clean right there. I like using this for like my ATCs or even my, um, you know, like my cards like this that I showed last week. So, cause I hate, I just hate straight edges like that. I like to have always like a rounded edge. So does that even cut? Yeah. So you see, so it actually was not bad. I mean, I have the We Are Memory Keepers um, corner punch, the handheld one. I don't have it up here. Yeah, I'm looking at my thing because I think it's over there by my desk. But um, I have like a couple of those in different styles. But this one is a little bit more handy. So I can stick this in like my planner tote, which I am going to do be, be doing a video soon on um, two options that I have to use for like carrying all of my planner supplies, you know, like the planner pouch. So I've got two different totes that I can use. So we've got that. So let's see here. There should be one more. Actually, it wasn't four. One, two, three, four, five. No, it should be actually more. Okay, this is the last thing that I got. I guess it was four things that I purchased from the other store. So this is from Nature Republic. It's a Korean brand. And this is Honey Melting Lip, right? Now, actually the product was not used, but I still went ahead and sanitized it with alcohol just um, before I, I tried it out here at home. But it's actually a pretty good color. And I like this applicator because you just press it to, um, you know, to have more. And it's, uh, let's see, I don't typically like using lip gloss, but because lip gloss is like to, you know, it's like really sticky. This one is more of an oil than, you know, whatever it is that they put in lip gloss that makes it so sticky. And, um, this color is actually pretty flattering. It's, um, kind of like, almost like the same shade as my lip. Um, so, and it's, it's pretty hydrating, I would say. 
This would be really good for the winter, but, um, and it tastes pretty good. The taste is there. Sorry, I can't really tell you because I have some gum in my mouth um, and it's like a peppermint gum. But this one comes in 07 lychee. I think actually that's what the flavor was when I first tried it. Yeah, but yeah, I was pretty happy to find this. And I like the other um, lip tint or whatever you want to call it that I had found the other week. That one is actually really nice as well. So these are the items that I purchased um, on at this first store, store number one. Okay. So right after I got done with that store, I went to the second store and the second store is such a disarray. <laughs> it's um, actually bigger and they tend to, they tend to have, uh, actually, no, they, I wouldn't say that they have more bins. I, it's probably an equal amount. No, actually, no, no, no. I take it back. They have more bins, but the quality of their merchandise is not as good as this first store. So I'm going to show you this. You're going to probably wonder why did I pick this up? It's a Chinese calendar, right? So I actually have been wanting one of these. I was looking for one at the beginning of the year. And it's funny because I was trying to buy one when I was in Chinatown in San Francisco last year and I couldn't find it. I don't know if it was because it was too early at the time when I went in October, at the end of October, or it was too expensive when I saw it. I can't remember which. I, I actually, I think I just didn't see any. It was just strange. Um, but then I was, but then again, I was looking in kind of like the touristy um, stores off of Grant but I remember looking in some of like the, you know, the local grocery, Chinese grocery stores, and I still didn't see them. So anyways, the reason why I wanted one of these is because I wanted to use it for um, junk journal, for collage work, because I kind of like the way that this looks, you know, and um, yeah, so I, I was happy to see this and that it was completely intact, you know, not bad. So I got it for a dollar. I mean, like I said, I, I wasn't going to use it for calendar purposes. I just really wanted to use it to tear it up. Okay. So just trying to get everything else out. So it was four dollars, four things that I got from this store. Okay. So then the next thing I found was this, these are magnetic lashes. They have been getting a crap ton of these over at that store. And, um, I didn't get them last week because I just, you know, there were other things that I wanted to get, but this week I felt like, you know what, I might as well go ahead and pick one up. So I got this because the box was unopened. There were so many of them that people had opened and then just threw, you know, threw back in the bin. And I wanted to be sure that I got an unopened one so that it had everything that it's supposed to come with. I was just curious. My mom actually wanted to get one too, but I couldn't find any more intact boxes. So this is the only one that I was able to find. Um, so it's got the applicator. The only thing that I'm wondering about is if it comes with the liner or whatnot, because here are the actual lashes, right? But I'm going to have to look and see, maybe you're supposed to purchase the, um, you're supposed to purchase the stuff. I don't know. Cause look at that. Um, apply mascara to create a base. But, okay. This is it. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch. There's a video apparently on this. I just thought it was weird that it didn't come with the mascara, but I do have some like, not mascara, but like some magnetic liner. So I will try it. I, you know, I just, for a dollar, I mean, hey, it doesn't hurt to try, right? So I did get that. Um, I tend to see a lot of this kind of stuff, like, you know, uh, kits of like, um, lash, lash kits and then like gel nail kits, um, like the kits for like, you know, creating like gel nails and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you know, usually they're there up until about maybe six to $4 a day. So, um, at the time when I used to see them all the time, I never was never interested. And so I never picked it up and I kind of wish I had now because I'm having to pay what, you know, it goes for on Amazon. So, but yeah, so I did pick that one up. And then the last two things that I picked up, I'm so happy because I finally found craft items. Okay. 
So the, this is like, um, these packs are the same. Actually, I found the first pack and then my mom actually found the second pack. She just saw it and um, she was asking me, what are these? And I was like, um, I'm taking that. <laughs> and I explained to her they're for crafts and she still didn't understand. And I had to take it out and show her. It's like what I use for like my collage work. And she was like, oh, okay. So I told her the next time you see stuff like this, let me know because I want it. So I looked up on Amazon and these are going for this whole six packs. There's 320 pieces. I think it's going for $12.99, but they're beautiful. Look at that. These are dragonflies. Sweet, uh, was it not sweet? Snow dream butterflies. I just love the, the various colors. We have side butterflies, slide, sorry, slide butterflies, day walking wings. dream butterflies, specimen butterfly, wind love butterflies. I don't, I'm pretty sure these are not the real names. And then colorful but butterflies. Oh, I just love it. This is such my aesthetic. So I can't wait to use these. And I'm glad that I was, you know, we were able to find two packs of it because then I don't have to worry about, oh, great. I've just gone through all of it. And now, you know, I'm out because <laughs> I would never pay $12.99 to buy these. So I, I went back actually today. Today is Wednesday. And at that store, it's 50 cent day. And I went back because my mom wanted to go back and get stuff she put back. And I didn't see any more of these. Um, I was hoping, you know, if I could find another two, that would be great because then I could give away the other two and I'd only got it for a dollar. But unfortunately, they didn't have it. And I didn't really find anything else that I wanted. I had seen some um, acrylic stands for uh, these Genshin Impact um, characters. I don't play the game. I'm, I know what the game is. And they were, they, you know, the, they, were, uh, they were really cute, you know, um, girls. But at the time, I was like, well, I'm not going to pay a buck for them. But then... I thought, you know, when I went back today, I was like, well, they're 50 cents each. I mean, if I find the four that I saw, then that's only two bucks. And um, my nieces might like it, right? But they didn't have them. Somebody must have already picked them up yesterday after I'd left the store. So, yeah, we were going to go to one other store, but we had to come back home because um, we had to have direct TV work on um, our boxes and stuff. And so um, I don't think I'm going to go to the other store. Um, even though it's 50 cent day, I will probably just wait, obviously, until next Tuesday and go back. Now, um, I'm going to try to post a video. I'm putting together some footage of um, the bin stores so you guys kind of have an idea of what it's like. So I was watching on YouTube some of the various videos that are on it. And these are like, you know, these are like the big YouTubers, like million subscribers and stuff. And obviously they're just doing it for content. They're not like avid shoppers at those stores like I am. And so um, I was like kind of sneering at the way that they were shopping at the store because they were like, oh, well, let's just buy a bunch of boxes, you know, kind of thing without getting them open, looking at the stuff and then just randomly just buying shit, which is like stupid. You're throwing away money. Right. And then, you know, they're kind of like they ended up buying like stupid shit like on a one dollar day without looking at it and they ended up with like something like a filter for a pool which they don't have you know like this motor that they don't know what it would go to you know just st stupid shit and so I wanted to film a video of how I shop at these stores and one try not to over shop two what to look for and um three you know how to kind of prepare yourself because it's a very, very overwhelming experience when you go to these stores because there's so much stuff. You've got like probably 20, you know, bin tables just piled up with stuff. And it's kind of like, where, where do I start? What am I looking for? You know, when you walk in. And so um, if you're interested in doing, you know, in shopping at these stores, I'm going to give you some of the tips that, you know, and tricks that I use, you know, to, um, kind of get through that because it is daunting. Um, I always make it a point to look at every table. I don't, you know, skip around and look here and there and all that. No, I really dig. I really look at everything. And, um, I, I, you know, if you, if you are a frequent shopper of these stores, you kind of start seeing 
this, like I said, the same stuff you kind of like what you're looking for, you kind of already know what it looks like. Like, cause you know, like I'm scanning through, I don't know, I guess it, what I'm saying is like, I kind of almost look at it like, uh, like speed reading. So I'm kind of like doing a speed run through the store. And so when I'm looking for crafts, when I'm looking for, um, like skincare, when I'm looking for, um, just certain things, electronics. I've seen so much stuff over the past two and a half years that I kind of already know what it's going to, what it looks like when I'm just quickly glancing, you know, I probably spend five minutes at a table versus like some, a lot of people, they, they just park themselves at a table and will just look at every single item. And that irritates me because they're hogging the table. You know, I'm just, I just speed right through. So, you know, because I already know what some of this stuff looks like packaged, it's just easier for me to spot and I can ignore all of the other junk that's there, you know? Um, so yeah, so I'm going to, I'm just still trying to put together this video, but, um, I will put it up hopefully within the month. Um, so yeah, so just be patient. I just have to go there on Friday during chaos day and, you know, and film. So, and hopefully not be tempted to buy anything, you know, on $8 day. All right. So this is everything that I bought on dollar day. So I hope to see you guys again next week. Have a great day and have a great week. Bye. Thank you.